Hey guys, today is another Halloween tutorial and this one is inspired by Tiger. These are my ears, as you can see. And I've created this look only using the Sigma Bear palette. Um, I have a review on it and I'll link to it below in the description bar because most surely I will upload the review the same day I will upload this video, so go and check that out. So yeah, it was very fun for me to do it. And I hope you like it. And if you want to see how I did this step by step, then keep watching. First of all, of course, I'm going to start from priming my lid all around the eye. And I'm going to smudge it out with my finger. Then I'm going to apply a base, a white base. I'm going to use the NYX Jumbo Eyeshadow Pencil in Milk. I'm going to apply it to my whole lid up to the eyebrow and then I'm going to apply a thick line under my lower lash line and then when I get to this inner corner I'm going to take it just a little bit further down like this and again I'm going to smudge it out with my finger to make it look even okay now to set this I'm going to use the Sigma elope eyeshadow which is this light cream on a big flat brush I'm go just going to apply it over the white base now I'm going to take a black pencil, eye pencil and I'm going to create a pretty thick line on my upper lash line And then I'm going to wing it out on the outer edge. And don't worry about it looking messy, we're going to fix that later. Connect it with the outer edge of my eye and fill it in. Then I'm going to apply a little bit under my lower lash line. All the way in. And then when I get to this inner corner, I'm going to take it further down and create this kind of tail downwards, parallel to the nose. I'm going to connect it with the line that under my lower lash line and on the upper lash line. Like this. Now to make it look more even and smoother, I'm going to take the Sigma E30 pencil brush and just smudge the line out. And I'm just going to line my waterline with the same pencil. Now I'm going to take the same eyeliner I'm going to create kind of a curvy line right over here under my lash, lower lash line. And you don't want it to be too intense, just a little bit. And then again I'm going to smudge it out with the Sigma E30 brush. Okay, so now I'm just going to apply my mascara. You don't need too much for this look. Um, one thin coat will do and then we're going to move on to the rest of the face now moving to the nose um, I'm going to kind of contour it on the sides but um, pretty further out because we want the nose to look wider then I'm going to use Hitch which is this um, dark, dark matte chocolate brown and the E25 blending brush I'm going to take it from the end um, of these black lines down you 
you want to do a straight line and then so the line won't be too harsh you want to take a clean E25 blending brush and just blend it out and this brush is great for blending So just like this. And now I'm going to take um, again my black pencil, eye pencil, and I'm going to create the tip of the nose. So what I'm going to do is to take, um, to make two lines from here going inside the nose. Just like this. And then I'm going to do, um, to take from the middle of this line, go a little bit upward and create kind of a curvy line, then going a little bit down here in the center, and going again up and doing the same on the other side. Just like this. Now I'm going to take the pencil to the middle of my nose and create kind of a line going from the center down and I'm going to continue to the middle of my upper lip like this and again to make the line smoother I'm going to take again the E30 and smudge it out like so. Now I'm going to fill in inside the nose with a pink lipstick. This is the MAC Chatterbox. And I'm not going to go all the way to the edges, just inside. The black lines. Then to take it all the way to the edges so I won't have these gaps, I'm going to take a brush and just fill it in, in between all the gaps. Like this. Now to make the nose look wider, I'm going to take um, ACT, which is the lighter um, shimmery brown, and again the E25 blending brush, and I'm going to create kind of horizontal lines, two or three lines in the middle of the nose to make it look wider and kind of feather, fat nose. Because if you would like to make your nose look thinner and longer, you would, you would normally um, highlight it on the middle. So we want to make exactly the opposite of it, because we want the nose to make to look um, shorter and wider. So just like this. Okay. Now to move on to the this area in between the nose and the upper lip. I'm going to take my white base again and I'm going to apply it right to both sides of this black line then I'm going to go around the nose and to this area that is after the black line and then again I'm going to smudge it up with my finger and now again I'm going to take elope which I used on the eyes and pat it over the white base like so. Now I'm going to take again my black liner. I'm going to create 
um, a few dots, kind of two, um, three lines with dots like this. Another one here. Like so. Now we can go again on this over the black line in the middle to make it look a little bit darker. So then for the lips you want to take a concealer and conceal your upper lip. Entirely. And then take the white base over it. Smudge it out. And then again take elope and pat it over the lip. You want the upper lip look almost invisible. And now to make this upper uh, lip look a little bit going like in two arches like the tiger has, I'm going to take my black liner and create kind of a triangle in the middle. And then going like this. Oh! And then right here, I'm going to take it a little bit out. Like this. Now for the lower lip, I'm going to take again the um, pink lipstick. And I'm going to apply it only to my lower lip. My bottom lip. Now I'm going to contour um, this area in between the nose and the upper lip because the tiger has this area a little bit popping out. So to make it look like it comes out, I'm going to take ACT again on the E25. I'm going to apply it just around this area, blending it out. Now I'm going to create um, a few lines around my face like the tiger has and for this I'm going to use the E30 brush and control, which is the snap black. I'm just going to go ahead and create a few lines around my face. And so that completes the look. I'm sorry if I don't wear anything tiger printed, just because I don't like tiger prints on my clothes, so I don't have any. But um, yeah, I've created some ears. So I hope you enjoyed that. Again, um, the link to the my, to the review I did on the Bear Palette is going to be down below in the description bar. Also, a link to the Sigma um, website and to the specific place on the website where you can find where you can find the Bear Palette. So I really hope you enjoyed it, have a happy Halloween and I will talk to you all very soon, bye!